It may look like a simple plant, but this native bush to the Arizona desert will produce more than just oxygen. So the agriculture happens in Eloy. We transport them to this site. They're processed on this site. We take in raw biomass. We process it to produce three distinct co-products. The rubber that we're interested in for tire applications, a terpene resin that has, has commercial value as, a, as an adhesive added, additive or a tachifier, and then the, uh, the biomass, the woody part of the plant that could be used either for energy. Bridgestone broke ground in what will be the new Bio Rubber Process Research Center in Mesa. The research facility will find sustainable uses for the Waiuli plant as another source of natural rubber. And we believe that if we are successful in using Waiuli as a, as a source of natural rubber, it will help reduce our overall ca carbon footprint. It will also provide additional high-paying, scientific, high-end jobs to this community. Well, when you put that many uh, high-wage jobs in your economy, you have a definite ripple effect. The other thing, though, is that there's sort of a, a sort of a, a, a follower effect. Once companies like Bridgestone, an internationally reclaimed, acclaimed company with a great reputation for doing quality things, once they invest in an area, it opens the doors for other investments, and that's what we're looking for. The research center will initially employ 40 people with room for growth. As we, as we look at our, our needs for, for the staff here, um, we looked at demographics and there's a, there's a rich wealth of the, the type of people that, 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 that we need for a facility like this. For more information, visit Bridgestone.com.